And welcome back and thank you very much for those who participated in the Facebook Live and sent in some sunset photos. It was gorgeous. Red at night, sailor's delight. Goldie captured this picture in Sun Hill as the sun was setting and Tina captured this in Loch Golly. Oh, beautiful. The sun is positioned right between the trees. What a gorgeous evening. And hey, even our vacationing Daniel, who lives in Gatewood, sent this from Emerald Isle, North Carolina. This is from his drone. Isn't that beautiful though? Oh. I'm going to sit here and watch it for the next two minutes, right? <laughs> All right, we have quiet weather. It is cooling down, but it's not as cold as it was 24 hours ago. 43 in Marlington, 47 in Oak Hill, 48 right now in Beckley. We have some cooler temperatures to the north. This is a trough of low pressure that's keeping our temperatures in check with the season. No more 80s for a while. We do have 40s in Denver and 54 degrees in Great Falls. So no big temperature contrast across the U.S. right now. It is quiet on the radar, but we have to head into the southern plains. This area of low pressure is our early Friday soaker. This low is going to head north and east and bring some moisture up from the Gulf of Mexico. None of the rain that we get will be from thunderstorms, which typically produce flash flooding. So we'll have a moderate rain in here late tomorrow evening. By this time tomorrow, you hear the pitter patter of raindrops on the windshield if you're traveling or on your rooftop. And then this storm system will be out of here by Friday afternoon. But on the back side of it, we're going to have a couple of scattered showers. Those are those 20 minute showers with breaks of about 45 minutes or so. Uh, and that's on your Friday. Once we get into Saturday, we'll have a couple of scattered showers. The next storm system is coming down the pike. It's actually in the northwestern U.S. It'll come to the south. It'll come up the I-95 corridor. And this is the perfect track, folks. If it was wintertime, we'd be talking snow shovels out. But instead, we are talking about a nice, gentle, soaking rain right in time for the end of the weekend. Right? Go figure. It rains every weekend, right? And then after that, we will have a northwest flow that will keep our temperatures in check, uh, cooler than average, that is, for a while. Some of you, yes, are going to see snow. And that is uh, Pocahontas County up and towards Garrett County, Maryland. I wouldn't be surprised if some winter weather advisories are issued for that stripe of real estate. We are talking about an inch to an inch and a half of rain in Marlington. Otherwise, most of us will see a total of an inch from both storm systems. So a nice, gentle rain for all. Here's your seven day forecast. We are in the 60s the next couple of days. Lots of rain chances on there. Not a complete washout for your weekend though. The coldest air mass comes late Sunday into Monday. Some mountain snow flurries, as I mentioned. Temperatures will be in the 50s during the day. Overnight lows in the 30s. And pleasant early next week. Our temperatures rebounding into the upper 50s. Of course, we get into May and <laughs> Mother Nature decides to turn the notch back a little bit.